Welcome to the Church Brand Guide Podcast with Michael Persaud, helping you become a church marketing boss to build an attractive brand, create effective systems, and get tools that will help you cut through the noise and reach people where they are. Let's jump into the episode. So let's talk about your church's logo and why it matters. I'm going to give you six reasons for you to kick around for why your church logo matters, why you might need to get a newer version of your logo in order to help your church really get into your community and reach your community in a more effective way. Your logo really is the front door. It's the face of your brand. Uh, it's, it's, it's maybe not the front door. I think I, I say the front door is your website. The, the logo is the face that people see when they come to that front door. Um, actually, even before that, it's it's out in the community. It's out and about when people are just, you know, doing their daily business and they see your brand. That's the first impression. And in in the marketing world, impressions matter because ultimately it leads towards people taking action with your brand. It builds trust. It helps people understand that you are there, that you're present. It helps you cut through the noise. And a good logo has several different things to it that makes it a good logo, a modern logo that uh, communicates this idea of relevance, like we are relevant to you and your life. So most people are asking the question, why should I care? Like, why should I care that there's this church in my town? And why should I care that, you know, they have services on Sunday? They don't, they don't understand that. And as a good marketer, as a person that is in charge of getting the churches the church out there to your community you need to you need to answer that question uh help answer that question in their in their minds so again this is uh is something that everybody asks that that question is not something that is selfish or self-centered we all ask it because we all have limited resources we have limited time we have limited finances and we're always asking that question when it comes to any product any business at all you're asking, why should I care about that car commercial that just played on my you know, football game that I was watching? Why should I care about that new you know, device, that new phone that just came out? Like, why should I care about that? So it's, it's the job of the marketing agency or the, uh, the company itself to explain why you should care. So from a marketing standpoint, your church should answer that question as well. Like from a communication standpoint, Sometimes I come into contact with churches that don't like the idea of marketing the church, but it's um, just another way to say, how do we communicate our church in a way that is relevant to the audience or to the community that we are in? So they understand why they should care uh, that we exist. So let's get into these these uh, six, uh, six different uh, reasons why a modern church logo matters. So we have the privilege of designing church logos and I'll, most of the time, there's a logo already in, in place. It might have been there for decades, um, and now there's a need to shift. Maybe there's a new leader that comes into the church with a fresh vision, or maybe the church itself just has a fresh vision, or maybe they're in a building campaign, or maybe it's a new church launch. But whatever the case might be, we, we love designing logos, and uh, we've learned some valuable lessons. Uh, when we do work with churches that are existing churches that want to get a new brand in place, uh, we, we love to take their current brand and create a modern version of it that's going to work on all different types of media. So uh, let's get into our reasons because uh, different types of media is one of the reasons why you should care um, about having a modern church logo. Okay, the first reason um, is that first impressions count. So you should have a modern church logo because it makes a first impression. Uh, it goes into your community ahead of your church and is presented to people before they have a chance to check out the church for themselves. So it creates a first impression, and what we want is for that impression to be memorable, to be sticky, uh, to be something that is intriguing. Um, They may not know exactly what's going on, but we just want it to be intriguing, a design that kind of grabs their attention. So when we do designs for logos, we always look at the audience first, the target audience, the people we're trying to reach. It's not about our preferences. It's not about the preference of the pastor of the church or the leadership of the church. It, what really matters is the audience. Are they going to like the design? Will they connect with it? 
That's what a great church logo does. And then, yes, you should like the logo as a church leader, but really what matters is, uh, is it going to connect with our audience, with our community? So first impressions count. So have something that works great. There's one of the churches we work with. They uh, have magnets that go on cars and it just has a little logo symbol on it. So then all around town, you have this church has thousands of people that go to it. So they they see thousands of cars around town, people in that town, and, and they just see that logo all over the place. They may not know what it is, but at some point they're going to understand that and they're going to make, make the connection. Oh, this is a church. I've been seeing this all over the place. And that really builds clout and helps them to trust the brand to the point of ultimately showing up for that church service. Okay, second reason why your church, a modern church logo matters is that it tells your story. A good modern church logo tells your unique story as a brand. So not every church is the same, okay? Not every organization is the same. I think we can all agree on that. Every organization, they sell different things. Amazon sells products online. Apple computers, they sell computers and, and devices and phones. Um, you have Nike that, so, that sells shoes. You have Starbucks that sells uh, coffee or a, a place to go to. Um, McDonald's, they sell fast food. So all these logos represent a different story. So for your church, what is that story? Um, one of the churches we worked with, they are a missions church. So they do a lot of missions around the world and locally as well. Uh, so their logo, their brand represents that. Uh, there's another church that really is about small groups. And so they have a logo and a, um, a brand that's really around this idea of bu- building uh, relationships among people, because that's what they do really well. There's uh, another church logo where we designed it to be inspirational. Like it's, it's a, a, a church where their experience is a great service. Um, they don't do a lot outside of the, just a really great service on, on Sundays. So the logo is more inspirational and uh, tells their story. Now we're doing it in a modern way using vector-based logos uh, or design tools to make sure it's nice and modern and simple and punchy. But we're telling their unique story. Okay, so now again, number one, uh, the m- number one reason wh- that we're giving for having a modern church logo is because it makes a first impression. Number two uh, is that it tells your story. Number three, a great logo builds trust. A great modern logo builds trust. First, it shows that you're relevant because it's modern. Uh, there's older logos that you could just tell it's old and outdated. Most people uh, they, they struggle with why do I need to go to church? Like that's just an outdated idea. So if your logo looks outdated, well then you're really feeding into that narrative. But if you can build a logo that is uh, modern and looks fresh, uh, looks inviting and also looks like it uh, is relevant to your audience, then that's going to be something that they're more more likely to check out because it just looks like it in, in, in that first impression. It looks like it, it relates to them okay so a good logo builds trust Um, it becomes relatable Um, it looks like something that somebody that is new would want to at least check out if they haven't been there before okay reason number four a good logo a good modern logo creates unity okay it gets gives the church members something to rally around It, it so it does appeal to the current congregation it represents who they are um, but it's also something that is inviting towards new people to help them feel like they they belong. If you have a logo that's very, very abstract or, you know, uh, they, people may not feel like they can relate to it. But if you, have, if you have something that's simple and punchy, think of the Nike swoosh, uh, the McDonald's arch. Very simple, very punchy. Those are um, symbols that are, people can kind of unite or rally around. So it's a, a good logo also is a... Um, It kind of represents your shared beliefs or your shared goals. Um, It helps to foster a community, a community, a sense of community within the within the church. Okay, Uh, recognition. So reason number five is uh, recognition, brand recognition. So a good modern logo is as simple as you can possibly get it. Like good logo designs are simple. They don't have uh, drop shadows or gradients or a lot of those type of details to them. We try to minimize the number of elements in the logo. 
again, think of these really simple logos like like Target from Target stores, like very, very simple, like Walmart, their competitor, very, very simple. They've got that spark that they, they have out there. Uh, the more simple, the, the more recognizable. So don't don't go for a complicated logo design. Uh, I can't tell you how many times we've redesigned a logo where the original logo was a, a had a cross, had a Bible, had a dove, all in there, and maybe a flame as well. It's too much. You're trying to communicate way too much. And it's also, that example is also very internal. Like, we get it. If you're part of a church, you understand what the flame means and a dove and, and all that stuff. But if you're on the outside, that's not relatable. Uh, not not until you come and experience, you know, what, what those things really represent. So... Um, Recognition is key. Again, the, the, the idea of making impressions throughout the community. So creating those magnets and putting them on cars that are driving around the community, that creates an impression. It's recognizable. So somebody sees that little icon and then maybe they see uh, something online that has that icon. And then maybe they go to the website and, and now they're beginning to have that icon, you know, create that recognition in them where they begin to understand, oh, this is that church uh, in, in my town. Uh, I should I should go check them out. Uh, especially if you're like your neighbor down the street has the, uh, the little magnet on the car and you like that person, well, then that creates a, a recognition. There's an association between that person, that neighbor, uh, and the church that, that they uh, go to. Okay, so uh, that's number reason number five. And then the, the last uh, reason here, modern six, the last reason why you should have a modern church logo, why it matters, is because it shows that your church is relevant for today. Again, we are fighting an uphill battle in our culture. Church is not normal. It's not something that people typically do, not like they used to. So we can't take that for granted. Uh, so we need to upgrade our brand. If you haven't done it in a decade or more, uh, you you should think long and hard about upgrading your your logo your brand uh, logo brand is exp expanding beyond the logo it's your colors your fonts uh, maybe your website's part of that so look to expand and update your your brand um, to make sure that people see it as something that is relevant for their life again they're asking the question why should I care about this logo um, so as a church leader if you're a church leader at all listening to this. Uh, maybe your church communications person, marketing person. Um, the, the big idea is that you need to invest into a modern church logo so that you're updating your look to be relevant and to connect and to be recognizable within your community. You're going to see your marketing and your, um, your guest uh, show up rate increase as your brand becomes updated for today's culture. Uh, people judge you. They do judge a book by its cover. And you need to make sure that they see you as being relevant to them uh, when they when they see you online, on social media, on the website, when they see you maybe, uh, maybe send out a postcard mailer or something like that. Just make sure that it's a good logo that represents you well, represents your story well. Well, I hope this is helpful to you. Um, if you're thinking about a new church logo, I, I want to help you. Uh, because it really is one of the first things you can do to uh, kick kickstart growth within the church. Uh, I say within the church, but just basically getting people in your community to become aware of the church and for you to be able to uh, do the ministry that you're called to do because people now are engaging with the church. And uh, the logo is, again, a really good starting point. Um, in our process, we like to do a roadmap. The roadmap really helps us understand your brand, also helps you understand your brand. So if you're getting a church, a church logo, uh, look for that type of process. Get a designer that has a process in place that's not just um, their ideas, right? We don't, we don't want to do that. Like you don't want to do that. Just have a designer design something that they think is a good logo. You want to make sure there's some, there's some uh, foundation behind it so they're designing towards a desired goal. That's, um, that's what that process, that pre-design process is extremely important. That way, and also you, you kind of have a tendency too to say, hey, my favorite color is red. We should make it red. But really, is that the right thing? Is that really what's going to help people connect with your logo? I don't know. Unless you have a pre-design process to help you get a, a marketing roadmap in place, 
uh, you should have one for your church that kind of encompasses all your media. And then with that, you can then design a new logo, a new, a new brand, colors, fonts, those type of things that is really going to move the needle for your church. So I want to give you those insights, uh, help you out as a church leader so that your church is relevant, is something that people say, yeah, I should go check that out. And again, that uh, logo is a really good starting point for it. Thanks for joining us on this episode. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, make sure you check out churchbrandguide.com as well for the great resources we have available for you. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Church Brand Guide podcast. The video of this episode is available on our Church Brand Guide YouTube channel. Please subscribe to get notified when new episodes are released. 